How many times have you seen Spider-Man? Let me guess, twice, thrice, or maybe even a couple of times. I mean, who doesn't love this movie? While we all love Spider-Man, we love the man behind the suit a whole lot more. And more importantly, his watch collection. That's right, we're talking about Tom Holland's shocking watch collection. Aside from his growing fame and talent, we figured we'd take a look at some of the best watches from his growing collection too. Welcome back to Above First Class. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Sentry Stainless Steel At the age of just 20, he has managed to beat over thousands of actors to take on the role of Peter Parker, or Spider-Man, in 2016, solidifying his position in the incredibly popular Marvel Universe. Although, Tom was wearing a basic all-black watch for his first ever Comic-Con before he became super famous, the watch was a $350 AUD Nixon Sentry Stainless Steel, which is no longer produced. Well, for a young man on the brink of fame, this is quite a basic and reasonably priced quartz item. What a year can do. Say hello to premiere events and GQ covers. It was as if his life was exactly planned out. In addition to turning 21 in 2017, Tom also had his first solo film released, Spider-Man Homecoming. And just like that, everyone is clamoring for a piece of this easygoing Londoner. Of course, that means a watch upgrade. Cartier Santos. Tom Holland appreciates what Cartier has been doing over the past few years, particularly with the Cartier Santos, as do all people of great taste. Actually, even though it hasn't been seen in a few years, one of Tom Holland's first watch purchases was a Cartier drive to Cartier Moon Phases. Wow, for a 21-year-old, that's definitely off the charts. What watch did you have when you were that age? He has been photographed wearing a specific reference, the Cartier Santos de Cartier, in the stainless steel medium model. One of the most popular references in the present collection, owing to its 100 meters water resistance, black leather strap, easily interchangeable bracelet, and classic square case, this is another excellent everyday watch. With an RRP of $9,800 for the steel bracelet, it's one of Tom Holland's more reasonably priced watches and a fantastic introduction to Cartier as a whole. He actually has the same reference with Jake Gyllenhaal, who played alongside him as Peter Parker in the recent big screen adaptation of Spider-Man. Additionally, he's been seen wearing a skeletonized Santos and a Cartier Tank Américaine, proving his devotion to the French-based brand. He has referred to the watch as a chameleon, a timepiece he can wear dressed up or down with a pair of jeans and a t-shirt on a fine casual day. This excitement for Cartier is on point because vintage Cartier watches, particularly those from the collection Privé Cartier Paris line, are quickly becoming ever-elusive watches. Tag Heuer Monaco Titan There is only one watch to wear in Monaco for the most thrilling race of the F1 season and that's the Tag Heuer Monaco. Or, if you're Tom Holland, it's the sporty and intriguing Tag Heuer Monaco Titan. In contrast to the typical Monaco references made of stainless steel, the Monaco Titan is made of 39 millimeters of sandblasted titanium and has a slate gray dial to match. The Titan, which has black sub-dials and a few excellent red accents, is driven by a modern iteration of the Caliber 11 automatic chronograph movement. This watch had an RRP of $11,400 and featured a black alligator leather strap with rubber backing. With only 500 pieces released, it was considered a limited edition. Rolex Daytona Tom Holland should have the watch of the moment. The Rolex Cosmograph Daytona, REF 116500 LN. Since he is the man of the moment, although the Daytona has received a lot of buzz coming from the Marvel movie world, it is a stunningly well-made watch as you would expect from the people at Rolex. Tom Holland would probably enjoy wearing his Daytona for many reasons, notably with its crisp white dial, which is the more notable configuration in comparison with the black dial. Other features include a black ceramic bezel, a nice and comfortable steel bracelet, and a widely wearable 40mm case. 
It's an excellent idea to have another watch in your wardrobe for daily use because of its manufactured Rolex 4130 caliber 72 hour power reserve and water resistance of 100 meters. It is another watch in extremely great demand. The Rolex Cosmograph Daytona Ref 116500 LN with an RRP of $20,400 is currently trading for between $70,000 and $90,000. Patek Philippe Aquanaut Holland enjoys wearing a Patek Philippe Aquanaut as his everyday beater because he is a movie star after all. Although it is the most sporty model in the Patek Philippe collection, it is undoubtedly versatile. An Aquanaut would be a suitable match if you were to dive off from a yacht, swim to shore, or don a tuxedo for a red carpet event. The rubber strap and simple porthole layout give it a rugged, practical appearance, while the embossed dial, together with the satin brushed finishes and slim profile, provide a touch of refinement and some glam. Tom Holland, at the minimum, has two different references of the Aquanaut 5168G and Aquanaut 5167R, both of which are perfect everyday sports watches with comfortable rubber straps and a commendable water resistance of 120 meters. So it's safe to say that he actually enjoys what Patek Philippe has accomplished with the Aquanaut collection. The case size, metals, and colors of the two Aquanaut references are where they vary. Between the two, the REF 5168G is the more subtle one, which has the 42.2mm white gold case, a dial which is gradient dark blue, and a navy blue rubber strap to match. The Patek Philippe Calibre 324 SC powers both timepieces, and the 5168G has an RRP of $66,900, while the significantly smaller 5167R in rose gold is worth $61,850. The 5168G and the 5167R, on the other hand, are both now selling on the pre-owned market, ranging from $180,000 to $250,000, making these two Patek Philippe Aquanaut references among the most sought-after timepieces in the world at the moment. Piaget Altiplano Skeleton Tom Holland's Piaget Altiplano Skeleton is another incredibly prestigious addition to his increasing collection. He was seen sporting it at the 90th Academy Awards from the previous year. It's a contemporary watch that, thanks to its skeletonized design, isn't a dress watch for an old man, but is a touch dressier than his sports references from Rolex, Patek Philippe, and Cartier. Due to the manufacture of Piaget 1200S that drives the watch, it is an incredibly thin timepiece with a 38mm white gold casing that is only 5.34mm thick as you would anticipate from Piaget. The 2.4 millimeter thick caliber, which has blackened, skeletonized bridges and a platinum micro rotor, is the world's thinnest mechanical skeleton movement. This timepiece is a beautifully crafted timepiece from a company with one of the best reputations in the industry for keeping things slim, and is more proof of Tom Holland's taste way beyond his years. Tom Holland's choice in watches remains unwavering, with an RRP of $89,000. Patek Philippe Perpetual Calendar 5940R With the watch collection he's racking up, Tom Holland may become Hollywood's next brilliant horological enthusiast. If you need any more convincing, just take a closer look at his Patek Philippe Perpetual Calendar 5940R which is the most intricate watch we've ever seen him wear and is unquestionably the most expensive piece in his collection. It is a timepiece that keeps getting better the more you look at it, including an opaline silver dial, applied brigand numerals, and beautifully balanced subdials. It has a 37 mm rose gold cushion-shaped case that is only 8.6 mm thick. The watch's caliber 240Q movement, with its finely crafted bridges and solid gold micro rotor winding the movement, is a work of art. Fingers crossed that Tom Holland stays in the Marvel movie universe for a couple more years if this is what he's wearing to more Spider-Man premieres. The now discontinued Patek Philippe Perpetual Calendar 5940R sells for over $100,000 on the pre-owned market and is the most complex watch in his collection. Our spidey senses were definitely tingling when we saw Tom Holland's watch collection. As his fame rose, so did the watches on his wrist. 
His collection was packed with classy pieces from some of the best manufacturers like Rolex, Cartier, Patek Philippe, Tag Heuer, and Piaget. He now only needs to focus on getting some kids so he can pass on all those gorgeous watches to them. What do you guys think about Tom Holland's ridiculous watch collection? And what watches did you have at his age? Please let us know in the comments section below. And if you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.